there's a statement that you make um, in both books really that I want us to explore. Kids don't need fixing. Um, and this one kind of took me by surprise because for many parents, if you look around, we can see a lot of kids displaying behavior that for us would seemingly suggest they need someone to help set them straight. So what do you mean by kids don't need fixing? Well, you know, traditional parenting has created this paradigm where we look at our children as needing to be created, produced, mm. and fixed. So if there's a problem, we're always going to look at our children as the one that needs to be fixed. Mm. So there's two elements to this. First, we come from this perspective, this scarcity-based perspective, that says that our children are not whole as they are. Mm. Whole and complete and coming from a place of goodness. So we're always seeking to kind of fix them up. Mm. The more broken we are, the more we're going to project our brokenness onto them and try mm. and fix them. So on a deeply elemental level, our children need to be looked at as whole, complete, good and worthy. Now what you speak of is on the behavioral level. Mm. How do we then help children whose behavior seems out of control? Well, the first place to start is to really fix what we need to do and what, how we need to be different. So this means that the parent is then encouraged to look within the parental self and ask, what have I done or not done to create mm -hmm. now what I perceive as being a problem within my child? Mm -hmm. Have I not created enough structure have I not been able to say no and create boundaries adequately? Have I not been able to teach my child the skills that they need to regulate themselves? Mm. So it's a slight shift in energy. Instead of projecting the blame onto our children, we turn inward and, and ask ourselves, what do we need to do to fix the situation? But the, but the onus of the burden comes onto the parent, not onto the, the child. child. 